Isaiah chapter 28. Woe to the proud crown of the drunkards of Ephraim, and to the fading flower of its splendid comeliness that is on the head of the fertile valley, to those who are overcome with wine. See, Yah has one who is strong and potent, like a downpour of hail and a destroying storm, like a flood of mighty waters overflowing, who cast down to the earth with the hand. The proud crown of the drunkards of Ephraim is trampled underfoot. And the fading flower of his splendid comeliness that is on the head of the fertile valley, like the first fruit before the summer, which when one sees it, he eats it up while it is still in his hand. In that day, Yah of hosts is for a crown of splendor and a headdress of comeliness to the remnant of his people, and a spirit of right ruling to him who sits in right ruling and strength to those who turn back the battle of, at the gate. And these too have gone astray through wine, through strong drink, wandered about. Priest and prophet have gone astray through strong drink. They are swallowed up by wine. They wander about through strong drink. They go astray in vision. They stumble in right ruling. For all tables shall be covered with vomit, no place without filth. Whom would he teach knowledge? In whom would he make to understand the message? Those weaned from milk, those taken from the breast. For it is command upon command, command upon command, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. For with a jabbering lip and a foreign tongue, he speaks to his people, to whom he said, This is the rest. Give rest to the weary, and this is the refreshing, but they would not hear. But the word of Yah was to them, command upon command, command upon command, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little, so that they go and shall stumble backward and be broken and snared and taken captive. Therefore hear the word of Yah, you men of scorn, who rule this people who are in Yerushalayim, because you have said, we have made a covenant with death and with Sheol. We have effected a vision. When the overflowing scourge passes through, it does not come to us, for we have made lying our refuge. And under falsehood, we have hidden ourselves. Therefore, thus said Master Yah, See, I am laying in Zion a stone for a foundation, a trod stone, a precious cornerstone, a settled foundation. He who trusts shall not hasten away. And I shall make right ruling, the measuring line, the righteousness, the plummet, and the hell shall sweep away the refuge of lion, and the waters overflow the hiding places. And your covenant with death shall be annulled, and your vision with Sheol not stand. When an overflowing scourge passes through, then you shall be trampled down by it. As often as it passes through it, it shall take you, for it shall pass through every morning, and by day, and by night, and it shall be only trembling to understand the message. For the bed shall be too short for a man to stretch out on, and the covering shall be too narrow to wrap himself in it. For Yah rises up as at Mount Perazim, and he is wroth as at the valley of Gibbon, to do his work, his strange work, and to do his deed, his strange deed. And now, do not be scoffers, lest your bonds be made strong. For I have heard from the Master Yah of hosts a destruction decreed upon all the earth. Give ear and hear my voice, listen and hear my word. Does the plowman keep plowing all day to sow? Does he keep turning his soil and breaking the clods? When he has leveled its surface, does he not sow the caraway and scatter the cumin, plant, and wheat, and rose, the barley in the appointed place, and the spelt in its place? For he instructs him for right ruling, his Elohim teaches him. For caraway is not threshed with a threshing sledge, nor is a wagon wheel rolled over cumin. But caraway is beaten out with a stick, and cumin with a rod. Grain is crushed, so one does not go on threshing it forever, nor break it with his wagon wheel, nor crush it with his horsemen. Even this has come from Yah of hosts. 
who did wonders in counsel, who made wisdom great.